Assalamu alaikum everybody. Um, just kidding, not gonna wear these. <laughs> this is of course my reversion story, um, or conversion story, sorry, whichever one you prefer to say. Um, so this is gonna be a longer video, just warning you. I will take you through my journey um, and how I embrace the sun. So it was a long process for me actually. Um, it started in about grade seven. Um, grade seven, I had two close um, male friends, and they sort of um, they sort of opened my eyes and got me asking questions. That was in grade seven. Unfortunately, I it left in my mind, um, and I didn't think about it. I didn't think about Islam until about grade nine because I saw them again. Um, we lost touch and I saw them again in grade nine um, and we started talking again. And um, of course they were talking to me and they gave me a book. Um, this book was just a simple, maybe 200 page book um, and it was just about how science connects with Islam and I think that was very intelligent um, for them to give me that book because it's not just pushing somebody with the Quran it's not just pushing somebody into the hadiths you have to be smooth about it so I think it was very intelligent for them to do it that way and alhamdulillah it actually did help so um, so that was in grade 9 However, again, I dropped it. Um, now, the reason for me dropping it, um, of course, is because I wasn't aware. Um, and, of course, the shaitan doesn't want people to learn about Islam. So, of course, there's always the shaitan that takes you away from that. Um, so, probably in grade, it was late. It was either late grade 11 or early grade 12 where I approached somebody in um, one of my classes, a female. Um, she wore the hijab, she still wears the hijab. And I approached her and I asked her for the Quran because um, I it just popped into my head one day. I was sort of asking questions so I wanted to read it. Um, and. I read some of it and I noticed um, there was always mention of this one man um, and his name was everywhere in it. Um, and quickly before I talk about that I just want to say that um, you know who you are and you're watching this video and I thank you so much for giving me that quote on and of course um, just for other people. Um, when you give somebody a Quran, you earn hasanets, like rewards, you earn hasanets um, after you die. So alhamdulillah for her that she did that, and I thank her a lot. You know who you are. Um, so of course I got into the Quran, I started reading it, um, and I just saw this, this person's name everywhere all over the Quran, and I'm like, who is this guy? Like, who is he? He seems like... You know, I want to know why everybody loves him. I want to know his character. I want to know who he is. So I went online. I read some hadiths. I read um, books that I got from friends. I um, watched a couple documentaries, both by Muslims and by non-Muslims about him. Um, and of course, this wonderful man is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Um, at that point in my life when I researched about the Prophet, um, I realized that I had to make a change. And I realized from that point I was watching this one documentary um, and I, I give it to everybody. Um, I will give you the link if you want it. Um, but I watched this one documentary and I realized um, that I fell in love with Islam through Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I fell in love with Islam through him. 
from that moment I got this overwhelming feeling I it doesn't do justice for me to try and put it in words I just got an overwhelming feeling that I had to make a change in my life and that I had to you know look in and ask people how about to embrace the slam so it was that moment where I realized towards the middle of the documentary that you know non-muslims are saying this about this glorious man um, and I just realized from that point that there had to be a change and I got this this feeling that I mean like I just said I can't explain it it was the most um, peaceful feeling and from that moment on I realized that I had to go embrace Islam so I did embrace Islam at a local mosque um, and that was in grade 12 um, I really from that moment on I took myself away from everybody from friends I literally went missing because I knew that I had to focus on Islam and I had to embrace it and I had to have more knowledge on it and I had to learn and I had to broaden my horizons so it was my main focus to really embrace Islam that word is so powerful you embrace it um, so alhamdulillah from that moment my life changed um, I did not wear the hijab at first. It actually took me a year and a half to put it on. Um, but I will, that's a different story, the hijab. Um, but of course, once I embraced Islam, I realized that, you know, there's much more to this life. And it's those exact words, this life. There is more than one life. And of course, we should all be, you know, looking forward to the life after this life because it's nothing compared to this world. And Alhamdulillah, I realized that I need to be in a peaceful place with my mind, with my body, and of course with my soul. There was no more swearing. There was no more going out late. There was no more talking to guys um, the way that I used to talk to them. You know, nobody is perfect. And that is exactly why we repent. And that is exactly why we are human and why we make mistakes because nobody is perfect. If we were perfect, why would we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why would we need Him if we were created perfect? So it's just very important for anybody that has doubts in life, nobody's perfect. Um, and of course, for non-Muslims that are watching this, message me, ask me questions, leave me comments. Um, I know it's a struggle. I know there's struggles every day. People stare at you differently because you don't look like a typical Muslim. Um, I know it's hard, there's struggles, but of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests his soldiers, he tests his servants. Um, there will always be tests in this life, this life is one huge test, and I thank those two friends, you know who you are, I thank you for getting my mind to ask myself questions, and I thank that girl, you know who you are. Um, you're beautiful, mashallah, inside and out. I thank you for giving me that Quran. I still have it till this day and I still read it, of course. Um, it has been a journey, guys. It really has an emotional journey, a physical journey. Um, but it's a journey and it's my journey and I'm glad that I shared it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed my story. It is not a emotional story. It's not a sad story. It's just, I think it's very powerful that moment in time. I wish I could share it with everybody when I was watching that documentary and this feeling just came over me. The feeling came over me and I couldn't, I just knew from that moment I had to change. I 
really had to change. Um, and I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day, alhamdulillah. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, um, I will have the video where I decided to wear the hijab. Um, and just quickly, for non-Muslims that are watching this, um, I know how hard it is to walk up to a Muslim and ask them questions. And, you know, you're scared that they look at you differently. But you know what? Get over the ego and just go up to them and ask them. Because the only per the only power that put that, that feeling where you want to go ask somebody is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He put that in you. He put it in me. He put it in our fe fellow brothers and sisters in Islam. He, put, he puts this feeling in us where it wants to make us gain knowledge. It wants us to become better people. Not just Muslims, but better people in general. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like my video or subscribe. Assalamu alaikum.